this bad boy, the Echo Speed, this plows through uh, aluminium and other materials. Thanks to the Z3 head, this is one of the most dynamic machine tools I've ever seen. This Echo Speed is an absolute beast of a machine. When it comes to the aerospace sector, um, some of the parts that you're machining on here need lots of material removing, don't they? That's what this is about, and this is what you're showing. Sure. I mean, the, this range of machines has been around for a while, and it's evolved. I think if you went to most major aerospace OEMs, they've either got one or they know an awful lot about it. Same for the Tier 1 suppliers. So what we're doing now is we're really looking at this machine to see what we can get out of it. How can we push the boundaries? It was quick before, but what you're showing here today is talking about even more increased productivity. Sure. We, we, as you said, from a billet or from a forging, 95% of that weight of material is turned into swarf. So there's an awful lot of, of, of machining to produce the kind of parts that we get from this machine. So. We've been using this machine in a certain way for several years and so have many of our customers. There's been some upgrades on the machine. We're making them here in Rorschach now as well. But we've been working with the applications team to develop new tools and strategies to really push this. So we're taking now around 25 to 30% out of our existing benchmark times, which were good times for the market anyway. My goodness, I mean, that's, you, you were filling drums of swarf beforehand. Now we need even more. Absolutely, sure. What we've done is we've adopted new strategies for roughing, new, more dynamic strategies for finishing. If we can take parts off this machine 25% faster, that's a massive increase in throughput for customers. An ultrasonic uh, measurement, what's that doing? What are you showing? Well, this is a, a tool changeable ultrasonic measuring device from Hexagon. And if you imagine a large pocketed component you've, you've taken from a billet, pockets both sides, you get distortion in that part. So what we've identified is that you, you can machine side one, rough and finish the pockets if you like, or just rough the pockets. When you flip the billet over to identify that it's sitting in the right place, we can rough the second side and then ultrasonically measure the, the floor thicknesses, if you like, side one to side two. And if the part is, is, is distorted, we can then alter the NC program to bring that floor thickness correct. Mm -hmm. 